Here starts the countdown of top 5 unsolved mystery happened in history. Fifth place. Stone labyrinths of Balshoyzayatsky Island. There are a lot of spiral stone constructions on Balshoyzayatsky Island. Nobody knows their exact functions, but the number of theories is large. The labyrinths might have been used for rituals of some kind, or as a template for weaving a fishing net. They are 2500 years old, according to their orientation, their supposed ritual use. Apart from the labyrinths, there are more than 850 heaps of boulders on Balshoyzayatsky Island. Size, measuring between 6 and 25.4 meters in diameter, the entrances are generally on the southern sides of the labyrinths and each has only one entrance, which also serves as an exit. But the function of the stone is still not clear. One suggestion is that they may have symbolized a border between this world and the underworld, and the labyrinth may have been used for specific rituals to help the souls of the dead travel to another world. Another hypothesis is that the settings may have served as a model for complex fishing equipment. But it still remains an unsolved mystery for the researchers. Fourth place. Taos, Hub. Citizens of Taos, New Mexico, USA, have been hearing a low-frequency hum of unknown origins for many years. The sound reminds one of heavy vehicles moving through an arterial road, though there are no large roads near this town. The hum seems to have first been reported in the early 1990s. This phenomenon, called spontaneous autocaustic emissions, is different than auditory disorders such as tinnitus, which causes a ringing in the ears. A variety of theories have been offered as an explanation, ranging from the mundane to the fantastic, and the psychological to the paranormal. Some of the Taos hum hearers have even reported that they're hearing it, even after they have moved out of the area. Third place. Genghis Khan tomb. This is the country of Genghis Khan, the warrior who conquered the world on horseback. His story is full of kidnappings, bloodshed, love and revenge. Genghis Khan, known in Mongolia as Chinggis Khan, once ruled everything between the Pacific Ocean and the Caspian Sea. He ordered his soldiers that after his death he asked to be buried in secret. A grieving army carried his body home, they had killed everyone they met on the way to hide the route. When the emperor was finally laid to rest, his soldiers rode 1000 horses over his grave, to destroy any remaining trace. Since 800 years of Genghis Khan's death, till now no one has found the place where he got buried. He probably hasn't been this popular since his death in 1227. There is a stupid belief that the world will end if Genghis Khan's tomb is discovered. <laughs> Many believe Genghis Khan's tomb could be filled with treasures from across the Mongol Empire. For centuries, people were curious about the location of the tomb of the notorious Genghis Khan. Multiple discoveries were made in Mongolia and China, yet no one can definitely say where the great leader is buried. A possible lead, Genghis Khan was buried on a peak in the Kentiai Mountains called Birkin Kuldun, roughly 160 kilometers northeast of Ulan but are said by folklore. Second place. Terrest constructions at Ryukyu Island. In 1986, a group of divers found a range of strange constructions resembling architectural buildings near the island of Yonaguni. The artifacts 
stones with symbols, scrapers, and animal bas reliefs, made, everyone think they were handmade. It lies approximately a hundred kilometers east of Taiwan at the depth of 26 meters. These claims have been described as pseudo-archaeological. Wow. Can you believe? Shoch, one of the researchers, believes that the drawings identified by Kimura are natural scratches on the rocks, and suggests that the walls are simply natural horizontal platforms, which fell into a vertical position when rock below them eroded, and the alleged roads are simply channels in the rock. How an artifact like drawings can be drawn naturally, but is also not possible to man to construct under an ocean. German geologist Wolf Wichmann also concludes that it could be formed by natural process. But no one knows the exact reason and still researchers argue about this topic, and it remains still a mystery for the researchers. First place. Red glow over the Pacific Ocean. This strange red light was first seen by Christian Van Heegst. He was flying from Hong Kong to Alaska in his Boeing 747-8 flight. At that time he noticed a red glow beneath him. The glow reportedly came 20 minutes after a vertical lightning strike, which was seen in the distance. There were no thunderstorms on their route to Alaska, which suggests that the lightning bolt was not caused by a storm. Nowadays, this phenomenon remains unexplained. Scientists think it might be a reflection of a volcanic eruption beneath the ocean. The pilot just humanly reported that. Now I'm just hoping that, if a new island has been formed there, at least it can be named after me as the official discoverer, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> but still, no one knows the cause of the red glow, it remains unsolved mystery till now, 